Now let us start the new chapter. It's very interesting chapter that is symmetry. Now you are already familiar familiar with the topic symmetry. Now the study of symmetry is very important for us because we always we frequently use the symmetry in our day to day life and it will also provide us the beautiful designs. Now for example if you take any flowers or if you take any religious symbols or rugs or any handkerchiefs or any pictures so most of the all these objects are involved with symmetry and if you take the uh, designers of the clothing or designers of the uh, jewelry or if you take any manufacturers car manufacturers or architects so the, these all people will use the concept of symmetry now what is the symmetry and what is the what are the types of symmetry you are already know about the line symmetry now the two main important parts of the symmetry are line symmetry and rotational symmetry now first what is the line symmetry so when a figure is said to have line symmetry now let us see that uh, take any picture that is Now when this figure is said to have a line symmetry, now if you draw any line in the figure, and if you fold the figure about this line, if the two parts of the figure will coincide with each other, then this figure is said to have line symmetry. So if you fold the figure about this line, so then the figure is said to have line symmetry. Now let us write the definition of line symmetry. A figure has a line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure is the figure may be folded the two parts of the figure will coincide the two parts of the figure will coincide now if you take the figure the letter T now the English alphabet the letter T also has line symmetry so if you draw the vertical line about this letter and if you fold the figure means this letter about this line the two parts left and right two parts will coincide with each other so this is the line of symmetry and this dotted line is the line of symmetry and this figure has a line symmetry and if you take arrow shape So even in this arrow shape, now if you draw the horizontal line now along with this line, if the figure is folded, the two parts of the figure will coincide with each other. So the arrow shape figure also has line symmetry and this line, this dotted line is called line of symmetry the line about which the two parts of the figure will coincide is called the line of symmetry now this figure has a line of symmetry and this horizontal line means this dotted line is called line of symmetry now let us continue the topic the symmetry means the line symmetry for regular polygons now lines of symmetry for regular polygons
Now first, what is a polygon? A polygon is, is a simple closed figure consisting of line segments. Now, polygon means a simple closed figure made up of several line segments. So triangle, any quadrilateral or any pentagon, hexagon, so these are all said to be polygons because they are all closed figures consisting of line segments. Now what is a regular polygon? So a polygon in which all the sides and all the angles are equal then it is said to be a regular polygon. A polygon in which all the sides and all the angles are equal. is called a regular polygon. So when a polygon is said to be a regular polygon, if it has all the sides and all the angles equal. Now how many line segments can a polygon has? Means minimum number of line segments to form a polygon. We need three minimum line segments to form a polygon because if you take three line segments then a polygon can be formed so if you take less than three means if you take any two line segments there is no polygon means there is no regular polygon now what are the regular polygon so if you take three line segments if you take any polygon with three line segments means any triangle now what is the triangle in which all the sides and all the angles are equal so it is an equilateral triangle so if you take equilateral triangle so it is a regular polygon Now if you take the four sided polygons means quadrilaterals. Now what is the four sided polygon in which all the sides and all the angles are equal. Now it is a square. Now in a square all the sides and all the angles are equal. So it is a regular polygon. So in case of five sides regular pentagon. So your five sides and five angles are equal. So this is regular pentagon. And hexagon, if you take six sided polygon, so that is hexagon. Your all the angles are equal. So these are all regular polygons in which three sides, here four sides, here five sides and here six sides. Now let us discuss the lines of symmetry in all the regular polygons.